Hello guys, today I want to talk about one specific variable in Laravel which is app env and talk about environments in general. Why are they useful, what you should know about them, how to detect them, how to set them and a few examples around that. So by default Laravel generates for us in .env file app env local. What does it actually mean? Technically it doesn't mean anything until you put that to use until you actually check somewhere whether environment is local or not. Typically, there are two types of environments, local and production. Production, sometimes it's called live, basically where the project is launched. Then there is local, which means your local computer for every developer on your team. And then there may be two additional environments that's in general in all the software projects, not Laravel or PHP. There's staging, which means some separate server for client to test the new features, to play around with them and actually approve the release. And then there may be the fourth one. It's actually interesting concept. Sometimes they are separate, sometimes they are together. So there's staging and there's testing. In all the full theory, there should be four environments, local testing for developers only, then staging, testing for clients and potentially maybe alpha users or beta users, and then there's production. So that laravel.env variable allows you to set different parameters for different environments. For example, not allow something on production. So you could check if environment is production, do not show something. Or the other way around, if it's production, then show something, show some capability for some administrator or something. So on whatever environment, for example, on your staging server, you create .env file, you copy all of those values and you change only app env for value of staging. Or also, not sure if you know, you can create .env.environment file I often see that for testing. There's .env.testing and then Laravel will try to automatically detect that file if that exists. Now, how do you check the environment? In the official documentation, there's a way of determining with app environment. For example, you can check if environment is local, then do something, or you may provide array of few environments, then you can perform some code. But I wanna show you an example with a few more ways how to detect that environment. It's based on a package that I've reviewed Spati login link previously on my YouTube that renders a button to log in without password. And for that specific package, that env variable is hugely important because that button should work only in local environment. No one should be able to log in without password on production environment ever. That would be a huge security issue. So how that package does that? If we take a look at login link controller of that package, it has a method ensure allowed environment, which then checks the config for allowed environments, which is by default local. And then this is the check. So instead of doing app colon colon like a facade, there's a helper. If app environment is not within allowed environments, then throw an exception. And the default config value, as I said from the package, is local, but it is customizable in the config if, for example, you want to allow that button to be visible on staging or testing servers. And then in the blade of that component, it's actually a component for the button, you have something like this. So there is a blade directive at env, which means that this part should load only in the environments that are in the config. Again, you can put array here or specific string like env local and then show some button. And then it is tested in the automated test by the package they use best for testing and one of the tests at the very bottom from what I remember, it will not work in the wrong environment. So it's setting the environment config value to other environment. By the way, not sure if you knew that you can override the config environments on the fly like this. Then it is posting to the login and assert that the status is 500, which means exception thrown. So in other words, to recap, if you set app env local or production, it doesn't change anything immediately, but you will be able to enable or disable some features based on the environment, which allows flexibility for your team and security for the project on production server. That's it, a tip about environments. And if you want more tips in a longer form, I have a lot of courses on Laravel. So you can support this YouTube channel by subscribing to yearly membership of my courses, currently 33 courses. 
latest one about filament. Maybe by the time this video is on YouTube, there will be another new course, 34th. So there's React, multi-tenancy, inertia, not Laravel topic, but about freelancing. I told my story, Vue.js, Alpine.js, live wire refactoring, GraphQL, eloquent performance, and much more. So subscribe to the membership of courses, or at least subscribe to this YouTube channel for free to get daily videos, shorter videos like this one, and see you guys in other videos.